them. Okay. Well, I think it's time for our last segment, which is yes. Gary's Games. Thankfully, Gary oh, yeah. is here, so we don't have to do the complex um, equation to get games <laughs> out. Uh, we just have them. So, so you know, we were fine. going to play Freeze, but that really does depend on having at least three people. And I think maybe Joel's going to join us, but maybe we can just do like ad-libbed conversations, which is uh, similar to what Freeze is, but we would need like, who are we? What are we talking about? And maybe where are we? So okay. I'm going to look up a few of those. And if there's some suggestions from the audience, yeah, I we will, definitely um... need, We definitely need suggestions from the audience. We need to like, we need to start telling people from the beginning of the show, yeah. hey, you guys need to start coming up with suggestions so that we have them ready. Yeah, maybe we need, like, maybe we need to come up with a, because there's a few of the games we do that really work well, that we, all, we enjoy, and that seems to be funny for the audience as well. We could probably get them on a schedule and just be like, we're going to play this one this night, this one this night, yeah, and get a shit ton of stuff. So let me see. <clears throat> this is a random town generator. Let me see oh, what this is. Suggest. Suggest. Gosh, uh, yeah, I just, write me I, some towns. Oh my god. Never random mind. content generators. They're I think so it's fun. like a fantasy RPG thing, so it's just like all these syllables. Minacha. Random subject Games generator. Games. So wait, do we have a name for this? This is wait, we're doing This uh, was going to be freeze, but since but, we only have the two of us, we can't do freeze. Freeze requires like at least two people. Okay. And this is conversation instead. Okay, we got a we got a subject. Batman. Batman's been Batman. Okay. A subject. And who might who might talk about Batman? Like. <laughs> nice. Um, who might talk about? Let's, I mean, let's I, I guess be... the Joker would talk about Batman. Okay. Commissioner Gordon you be, would talk about. You be the Joker. Okay. And I'll be. Like he could be. Joker is on a tea break. Okay. And I just happen to be in the same room as Joker, but I'm not in like an important part of the mob. But maybe the Joker's feeling a bit pissed off that okay. Batman is just like feeling is get is like is getting under his skin. Okay. It's like I walk into him and be like, Oh hey boss, I can I can go. No, you know. no, 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 it's fine. I I can sit. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Take uh, a load off. Oh, thanks, boss. You know, you're not so scary as the guys say. <laughs> no. Of course not. You know, you have to put on a front, right? To keep people... Oh, with it. yeah? Yeah. Why, why would you be putting on a front, boss? Is, is something bothering you? Well, sometimes I get upset, you know, and I can't let that um, affect the morale around here. Now can I? Oh, no, no. Well, I mean, you, you, sir, you, you can do whatever you want, boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I yeah. do whatever I want. And that's yeah. why I can stay calm so easily. Yep. You're super calm, boss. You're calm all the time, but you're the calmest mm -hmm. guy I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, what are you doing here? Well, I... I, j I just got, I was on a mission with the guys. Uh, I Well, I say I was on a mission. I was kind of observing from outside to tell them if... Ba Batman. Batman? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 was, I was trying to tell the guys if he was around. And yeah, I, I missed him and he killed, like, he didn't kill anybody. But, but yeah, like 10 of the guys are missing now. Would you bring up Batman I, in was... the break room? I'm sorry, boss. While I'm having my... Tea. Oh, yeah. Sorry, boss. I didn't know you was having your tea. I mean, you asked what I was doing, and I ain't gonna lie to you, boss. Okay. All right. All um, right. Batman. Yeah. You've already ruined my break. Sorry, Might boss. as well tell me what we need to know about Batman today. Uh, well, you know, y you know, Lenny and uh, well, mm -hmm. well, all of Lenny's team, pretty much, because they was on Lenny's they was on duty. Team? Yeah, Lenny don't have a team no more. Uh, Bats, uh, he, uh, they, they don't got no working legs anymore. Uh, cause uh, I think he got, he got a thing that wraps around your legs and he pulls you up and, uh, yeah, they, they're all out of the sockets. Whew. Well, I'm glad it was Lenny and Lenny's team. Oh, you, cause I mean, Ricky's no, team was, was there bait. too. He was bait. Yeah, but was. It's all good. Okay. Now we know good. where Batman is. So. Okay. Go on after him. 
Uh, right now? Okay, I'll, I'll go right now. I'll go get Batman my, myself. Okay. <laughs> See you later, boss. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you, uh, you stand a chance, right? <laughs> okay. Cool. So, so we have the Tick as one of them and Arthur. The Tick and Arthur. Okay. Um, so I feel like I wasn't sure if I was following the rules. There, this is like, We're just, I mean, yeah, a lot of the time improv is like, it has to be funny. And yes, right. it's great when it is funny. But like, I think that would be a funny scene or a good scene. Like the if the Joker's having his fucking tea, it's like, <laughs> what tea is the Joker drinking? Maybe he has green tea because he's like on edge. Right. But he has to be the Joker. <laughs> or he like, he might just be in there going, fucking hey batman i mean i just want to get some shit done and oh who's this peon coming in to bother me i know i'm the joker <laughs> okay so uh all right so what what is we got arthur and we got the tick okay do you want to be the tick or you want to be arthur either or let's you roll it you'll be the tick i'll be arthur i'll be the tick yeah yeah and so what's the situation they're going to the swimming pool for the first time together or something else that was just i just thought it was funny for them to be like we're gonna we're gonna swim today we're gonna do some laps of the swimming pool okay <laughs> yeah all right hello arthur have you got your bathing suit uh hey tick yeah um got my bathing suit but i think that the bathroom here is a little too dirty. I don't even really want to change in there. I can't change in front of all these people. I still have my suit on. I laugh in the face of dirt, Arthur. Spoon! And now I'll run. I'm running into the bathroom to clean the dirt for you, Arthur. Come in here with me. You oh, see, there's nothing tick, to fear from dirt. Tick, you don't have to. Oh, d d You're worried you're... about swimming in your suit, Arthur. Is that what I'm hearing from you? Well, I, there's like a little tear right here, right in the arm. A little I tear, Arthur! I... I have a sewing kit! Can you sew? Do you have... I'm sewing it right now, Arthur. You can't see because wow, I'm a hero. I didn't realize that your fingers were so dexterous, Tick. Yes, they are. That's what a hero has, dexterous fingies. Wow. Um, well, I, I hope that... Do you think it's watertight now? What kind Probably of not, but water on the skin feels good, Arthur. Feels really good. Okay, well, uh, I wonder how my wings are going to work in the water. They're going to work beautifully, Arthur. Have you seen those wings in the air? Air is like water, isn't it? I've never been in water before, Arthur. It's a little bit different, but, you know, uh, I think it'll help my butterfly stroke. <laughs> Was that a joke, Arthur? I thought uh, you were a moth. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a moth, but, you know, butter, butterfly. Ah! Yeah, I get the right, joke, right, Arthur! Right, right. A similar <laughs> okay, insect with wings! Yeah. All right, I'm gonna and try. it's also a swimming stroke! I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, Tick. All right, kids, uh, can you move real quick? I'm gonna try and do a dive. Spoon! Woo! Tick! Arthur, your wings are not working as I thought they would. Don't worry, Arthur, I shall save you. <laughs> that was great. I, I love like, that show, man. I like playing superheroes. This is great. Yeah, dude, Tick Tick was like probably my favorite when I was a kid. Like out of all the Saturday morning cartoons, Tick was the one. Oh yeah. Uh, what a fucking theme song. Right? It was so odd. Just yeah. really weird. And he never yeah. took his suit off. As no, I always no. thought, like, is that his Neither skin? Like, is that his <laughs> is that his superhero? Is he that he like did he mutate? Nothing explained. Just love it. Just love I always it. like ben Deflator Mouse as well because when you hear his voice, like that's like Cam Clark was in everything in the eighties and that kind of yeah. carried over. And then I played Metal Gear Solid and I was like, Hold on a second. Is that Liquid Snake? Oh my god. Deflator Mouse is Leonardo and Liquid Snake. Really? Yeah. I think if you hear back, it's just like, he has that real distinct voice that when he was like, hello, brother, as Liquid, <laughs> it was just like, oh, God, I know that from somewhere. Wow. That's Earthworm also... Jim was amazing. Oh, okay. I thought you were. I thought he was saying Deflator Mouse played Earthworm Jim as well. I don't think. That was Dan Castellaneta, I think. Didn't Homer Simpson play him? Oh, really? I, I think. I could be wrong. That would be amazing. Dude, you know what? I, I do not pay enough attention to the voiceover greats from our childhood, man. Like, because those guys were, like, there were, like, six of them. That's all. <laughs> and the they were on everything. That's how I know their names, because there was <laughs> only, like, six. 
Rob Paulson's one of them. Right? Oh man, Pat Fraley was another. I was at an APAC. I think the APAC where I actually met you for the first time. Mm-hmm. And one of the things was like, you can get coaching from a, an established audiobook coach. And I, I won the lottery or something. And I was get, I got to coach with Pat Fraley, which was great. I had a great half hour session with him. Only after that did I find out he did the voice of Krang on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was like, I if I'd known that, we wouldn't have talked about audiobooks. Yeah. <laughs> right, guy's a fucking legend, dude. I oh, I actually brilliant. made friends with um with another one, he, the the guy who played uh, uh Chairface Chippendale. Um. Oh wow. Uh, shit, what's his name? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Phil Phil Proctor, of course. Phil Proctor played Chairface Chippendale. And I was, it was so great to meet him. And like, I've stayed at his house now a couple times. Nice. I was in LA. Uh, The dude is so cool. He is so fucking cool. He's like older. He's just super old now, but he knows fucking (laughs) everything. And he has all these amazing stories about coming to the, to LA in the seventies and like the way things were back then. And just, I feel like we were all, we were born a decade late. Yeah, maybe. Because we just missed this kind of, I don't, well, like, audio, voiceover's changing or whatever, and it will always do so, but, like, back then was just, like, the fucking, come to L.A., we'll fly you down. We've got tons of money. Yeah, yeah get in the studio, you. Yeah. Do 26 voices for 18 hours a day. Right. Now, now all those producers have, like, a horde of potential voice actors clawing at them trying to get jobs, so... We're not getting that treatment anymore. It's, That's for yeah. damn sure. It was like actors were like, I needed some money, so nobody wanted to do this voiceover thing for the cartoon, <laughs> yeah. so I thought I'd do it. Oh, and you just you know developed a legendary career out of that? Fine, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's the way to do it, man. Oh, well, that's, what that's how this? it was back then. Now... Oh, it's, it's... yes. All right, well, it's time to wrap it up, but before we do, we have one more show happening gotcha. on Sunday. That is our gotcha. birthday. That is Halloween. At 4 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Eastern, we will be having a Kaiju Battlefield Surgeon listening party here on Sound Booth Theater Live. So be sure to watch out for that. Um, come hang out with us right before you go you trick treating with the kids. You know, um, It's going to be a good time. We'll, we, there's no way we'll be able to make it through the whole thing. I think we're going to listen for an hour, hour and a half. So that'll get us through the first three or four chapters of episode one. Um, but that'll be enough to get you guys all lubricated to download the whole thing. And trust me, it's a kaiju. You're going to need a lot of lubrication. Yeah, if you're a battle surgeon for kaijus, that's not a, that's not an easy job. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, it's not made easier by the circumstances by which he uh, is sucked into this game either. So... Guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Um, Ahmed, Rich, thank you so much for being awesome behind the scenes, making this a smooth show. Gary, thank you so much for coming and bringing your damn Irish charm and your fucking (laughs) good looks and talent, you son of a bitch. Well, well, fantastic good looks, yeah. (laughs) Yes, yes, thank you so much for being here, everybody. And don't forget about the sale. Sunday, five dollar audiobooks. Do it. Do it. Do it. Put it in your calendar. I love you all. Buy books. Sunday. Buy books on Sunday. (laughs) Buy books on Sunday. I'm totally like expecting him to cut me.